Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Um, this is my second video. My first video was showing you some beautiful dimensional hair color. And uh, for this video, I wanted to talk about skincare. Um, I get asked a lot what my skincare regimen is um, and how I keep my skin so clear. Um, so I wanted to share a couple things with you. I wanted to share the products that I use um, on my skin every day. I wanted to share with you kind of what my routine is. Um, and then the flip side of that too is I also wanted to share a really quick uh, male makeup uh, tutorial as well because my skin isn't perfect. So if I do want to touch up, um, I do a very quick makeup routine. The first and foremost thing that I use is a product called Avalon Organics. Um, it is a cleansing milk. Um, it's a 100% organic product. The thing to pay attention to is to make sure there is no unnatural ingredients in the product. So, you know, sulfite, sulfate-free, no cocomite, MEA, DEA, things like that. Um, the sunfall oil is in here, licorice root, uh, extract is in here, CoQ10 is also in here. Um, a little that will do, and it, it does last you for quite a long time. Um, you can pick it up like, pretty much anywhere. Um, I mean, I've seen that Whole Foods, um, I mean, pretty much anywhere you can order online too. Uh, the other thing I do too is an exfoliating scrub. It's from the same, um, oops, from the same line, um, Avon Organics again, an all organic product. Um, <clears throat> especially in the winter months, we all know that uh, dry skin can pop up, and I get a lot of dry patches, kind of like. In these areas here. So um, a good exfoliant is always really great to kind of wake up your skin. Night, I also use a vitamin C serum. Um, this one is Joy and Karma. Um, it is a 100% uh, vitamin C, so it, it's not anything else other than vitamin C. Um, it's uh, kind of a thick type of serum, so a little dab will do as well. Um, and I put that on every night before I go to bed and just massage it into the face in upward motions and kind of pull the skin up. Um, and the other thing I do as well is every morning I wear, uh, for as long as I can stand it, one of those frozen face masks that you put over your eyes. Um, again, those can be purchased pretty much anywhere. Um, there are several benefits to, to doing that. Icing the skin can uh, prevent further wrinkles from happening. Uh, it rejuvenates your skin, uh, it refreshes your skin, it gives you like a luminous type of glow. Um, and also helps kind of tighten things up. And then if you're someone like me who has dark circles under the eyes, it, it helps that um, because it brings blood to the surface. So it helps get, uh, take away some of the darkness. And then also um, if you get puffy, uh, if you're super tired that morning or whatever it is, um, it can save a little bit under my eyes today. Um, it does help reduce that swelling a little bit as well. Use um, this new charcoal mask that I got. Um, charcoal uh, is a new, it's, I don't know if it's a new trend, but it seems to be a new trend in skincare. Um, this one I ordered actually from a, um, a person on Etsy. They make all natural products. They're called Pure. It's P-U-U-R. Um, I highly recommend checking them out. I also ordered the all natural deodorant from them. Their products are amazing. Um, this is relatively inexpensive. You can see it's uh, pure. Uh, it's a charcoal mask. It's jet black. Um, there's a lot in there, and you do not use a lot. It goes very, very far. All right, let's get into the makeup application. The first thing we're going to use is Coastal Scents Bright Eye in the Light Shade. This is to illuminate any uh, dark circles you may have and just try to eradicate those. So a few dots underneath is all you need. It's very uh, pigmented, so a little dab will do. Let that sit in. The next thing we're going to use is NYX Wonder Stick. Uh, one side is a highlighter, one side is a contour. You see I'm going to contour in, find my natural cheekbone, what areas I want to recede and then simply draw on, almost like you're coloring, what areas you want to receive. Sides of my nose, because I'm insecure <laughs> about the size of my nose, so I like to make it look a little smaller, a little bit more symmetrical. Then I take the highlight side and put it on the bridge of my nose, the cheekbone, and the triangle of the forehead, also underneath um, where the contour was. Then go back to your first area, which was the uh, bright eyed, and just slightly dab that in. Don't wipe the product everywhere. You're just pressing it into the skin to blend. The same thing, use the same finger all over to blend the light and then the different fingers to blend the dark. You can very, um, you know, very well use a brush here. 
uh, foundation brush to blend. Um, I have the digits use fingers. It just is simpler for the video um, to show that it is possible. And also for guys who maybe not uh, are not used to using a brush, this just shows you that you can get an effective blend simply by using your fingers. The trick here is to use small little circles when you're blending. You're not wiping all over your face. The other thing too, down on the cheekbone, you can see what I'm doing. I'm blending it into where I want to recede. So up and underneath the cheekbone. You don't wipe it up onto the lighter part of the top of your cheekbone because that will undo what you've just done. You're setting with powder foundation from Coastal Sense. Coastal Sense makes a powder foundation you can use um, in powder or wet for greater coverage. I'm using shades 8 and shades 5. 5 is a darker shade to set the darker uh, contour. 8 is a luminescent powder to set the highlights. Here we have the before and afters. You'll notice that the difference is very subtle, which is exactly what I was going for. You don't want it to be too dramatic so that people know what you're putting on makeup. Um, you'll notice that my cheekbones are much more pronounced. My nose is a little thinner and more symmetrical. Also in the befores, my skin is a little redder and in the afters you'll notice it's much more blended. Also look under my eyes, you'll notice that the darkness is much more blended um, and much less noticeable and um, as are the bags under my eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how you liked it or click like. I'll post uh, the information on the products that I used in the description. Um, and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jhairdesign.